a ban on the use of skateboards inside the inner loop. The action team has learned that's the recommendation of city police to city council, a change in city codes that would put an end to a growing problem of public safety and property damage downtown. Pete Dobrovitz has details. Well, Jan, you got a new main street and a push to get people downtown, so city police want to crack down. They want to put the brakes on a sport that's exploded in just the past three years. Thousands of teen and preteen boys, mostly, doing ollies, rail riding, 180s, 360s, and grinders all across the city, much of it downtown in open defiance of existing city codes. They swarm onto city streets, packs of urban kamikazes, the rumble and clack of rollers on asphalt. It's illegal. City code says in the central business district, skateboards are only allowed on the sidewalk. The kids don't call it illegal. They call it. It's just for fun. I don't know. I just like cruising around. <laughs> we don't want to do anything else. It keeps us off of drugs and everything. Some kids have respect where other kids don't. You know, they have to learn that, you know, cars and people, you know, have right of ways, you know, along with the skateboarders, too, and they should, like, learn that. But it's more than respect for the sport. It's respect for property. These railings at the new Eastman Place have been scraped and scratched by boarders who jump or ollie up and grind their boards on them. Marble walkways are all chipped. Police are also concerned about the safety of pedestrians on crowded sidewalks. We fear that sooner or later somebody's going to be, be injured, or worse. We've had numerous complaints from the people downtown. To that end, city police in the downtown section have recommended a total ban in the central business district, the area inside the inner loop. But outside the inner loop, the city code says you can operate a skateboard on the street, but it's got to be like a bicycle, keeping to the right, observing all the traffic signs and signals. But that's not the way it is in neighborhoods like this one off Park Avenue. Well, the kids, you know, uh, dart in front of you, off the sidewalk, down the down driveway aprons, right in front of the car. You afraid you're going to hit them? Absolutely. This one is moving pretty fast. You know, you have to watch out for them. Okay. D'Angelo says addicts like that can result in confiscation of the board and a court appearance if you're over 16, under 16, and mom and dad get the call. Now, everywhere we went today, we heard the same phrase from police, the shop owner, and the motorist. Someday, someone's going to get killed. Police say they're getting tough to make sure it doesn't happen, and the parents, they say, can help. And as Ava told us, there may be more playgrounds with board ramps. Are Parker's the Rental Center in Fairport, Mayor's Grand Rental Station, Taylor Rental in Spencerport, and Taylor Rental in Webster.